4A baseball, Moses Lake at Ferris. Winner gets the region's third seed to state. The Chiefs were sizzling in the second. Cam Alvarado with the RBI single. Moses Lake scored four runs to lead it for nothing. The Chiefs were nifty with the leather. Taylor Jones bounces into the 4-6-3 double play. Now the umps got in the way of a sweet diving catch earlier. So the Chiefs getting it done all the way around. But Ferris did wake up. Bobo Zett hammers it to the wall in center. That scores a run. Ferris comes back to win 7-6. Moses Lake season comes to an end. In 3A baseball, U High was one hit in an 8-0 loss today at Kamiakin. The Titan season ends. The Braves get the third seed to state. Some 4A and 3A regional soccer was over at Joe Alby today. Meet in Chiawana in the noon start. Panthers from the corner. Spencer Button uses his head. Riverhawks Humberto Chavez out jumps meets Travis Hill and sends it into his own goal. So it was 1-0 in a stoppage time. It's a penalty kick. Rene Solario gets by Curtis Hill to tie things up. It went to penalty kicks, or excuse me, the shootout. Meads Alex Hawks needs to convert to extend the game. I believe it's Hakes. Goes off the post. Panthers headed home after the tough 2-1 loss. Ferris played Davis in the 2 p.m. start at Alby. Former Shining Star Matt LaPlante corners to Isaac Peter. The Saxons have a cumulative GPA of 3.7. They also had the one nothing lead. They struck again when Mike Oween up aheads to Peter and good luck catching him. That gives Ferris a two nothing lead. The Pirates though made it interesting. Ricardo Badillo will send it over Saxon's keep David Repsold to make it two to one, but Ferris holds on for the one goal win to advance to state. They play stadium on Tuesday at Albi, 10 at a time, six o'clock. LC stayed alive with a 3-2 shootout win over Richland. Tigers keep Cody Lang made the game-winning save to send his team to state. They travel to Chiawana on Tuesday. A tough end of the season for U High against Eastmont. The Titans lost a 2-1 lead late in their 3-2 defeat. This was supposed to be the 4 o'clock game at Joe Albee, but was moved to 10 a.m. so the Wildcats could get home in time for prom. 2A Regionals East Valley Spokane against East Valley Yakima. It was scoreless late into the first, but Dustin Ferger corners a Tyler Train who finds Nylon. The Knights take a 1-0 lead. It didn't last very long off the long throw-in. A Knights player heads it to Red Devils' Jonathan Molina. He scores, and we're tied at one. It stayed that way till overtime. The Knights have a chance to end it, but Adam Talley gets robbed by Juan Alvarez. It would go to kicks. And the post place hero for EV Spokane. Their season continues with a 2-1 win in the shootout. The shootout didn't go as well for Pullman. The Greyhounds lost in Ellensburg today 1-0. It was scoreless through regulation and two overtimes.